Yeah, I, I mean, from the get-go, Florida established a, that they clearly had a greater sense of urgency than we did, a 9-0 start. And it's it's all my fault. And Mal, Mal's going to probably try to take some of the blame for it. I'm not going to let her. I, I saw it come in a little bit yesterday in practice. We were just blah. And I brought it up in the pregame, and we were blah. And that's on me to make sure that we're not blah. And we were. And I saw it early enough, and we didn't get it changed, and we didn't get it fixed. But we played that way for the majority of the game. All due credit to them for playing with the sense of urgency and punching us in the mouth with a 9-0 start and establishing their identity onto us, imposing their will, their style of play, forcing us to play from behind for the entire game. And we fought in the, third, in the fourth quarter. That was it. I thought we fought really hard, and I'm proud of them for a bit. We just got to do it earlier uh, in these games where people like that are around us in the standings, they have the same sense of urgency, and they can't have a greater sense of urgency than we do. Does that make sense? I was gonna, what specifically was different from you guys from Sunday to today? I mean, what just the beginning, or just it, or was there something specific? It was in our preparation. Our, our two days of preparation for Auburn were fantastic. We had all, we had all enthusiasm. We were focused. Uh, this was just blah. I don't know if it's because it's cold outside. I don't know if it's because we're missing Dev. I don't know if it's because we had a disjointed shoot around today. There was a lot of excuses you can make, but the only reason was we came out with that. We identified it. We talked about it. We said it was happening, and we did nothing to fix it. But it was a bunch of things, Paul. And I mean, if you were here at shoot around, you would have felt it. It just we just felt it just felt different. And I think we're going to continue to to feel those things from time to time. But now that we felt it, and that's on me to make sure that we change that. Um, and I know now that I can't let us go through that. I have to make that change. A lot of teams in the past, I've been able to let it go, and they can come out and play. I, I mean, we can't do it with this team. I'm going to have to fix that, and I will. Okay. I was going to ask Malik, as, as a player, as a leader on on the floor, what did you feel? You know, just yourself. Uh, I really felt like we was really lack of intensity, and you know, trying to you know, induce or increase the intensity. It was really hard, but you know, um, that was really the main thing that stood out to me is our lack of intensity throughout the game. I, I think their defense had a lot to do with it too. So again, I'm, I'm giving. Cam and his staff and their preparation and, and everything credit because they uh, really flooded the lanes and we're going to make us make threes. I think we all felt like the Auburn half was an anomaly. <laughs> and I think they said, okay, let's see if you can do it again. And we didn't. So that made her driving lanes a lot harder than they've ever been. That's why when she would get it in there, there would be four or five or six hands trying to contest her because they were going to make us throw it out. And at that point in time, we were you know, not shooting it very well. So um, that, again, is all goes hand in hand. It all comes together. Um, but it, it's hard to drive it when there's – big players and long players and athletic players. Uh, you know, that's a season low for us in free throws. i got to think. It's, you know, maybe not, but it's it felt like it was. Um, you know, we count on a few from there as well as from the three, and, and we go five for 30. So, um, again, for three quarters or maybe maybe two and a half quarters, I didn't think we fought. I thought we fought that last little bit. And then we, we made some hustle plays that didn't go our way. We got a couple stops. We tried to get saves. We threw it to the wrong goal. Mal, eight going out of bounds one time. Good job. You're, you're learning. Uh, let us set our defense. we got to stop. You know? So uh, we'll find – we'll very easily find 14 points on film that we could have made up very easily from the start to our preparation all that stuff. And that's why that's why we don't act any different at, after a loss than we do after a win. We win at Auburn. We shake the other's team hands. We run to the locker room. And we get on the plane and we come home and we get back to work. Win or lose, it, it, we don't treat it any different. Um, but we do have to get the mistakes fixed. And then, for sure, I, I will go to work on making sure that our energy level uh, is at a better level. you feel Malka kind of had to take it on herself or did take it on herself to, to keep you on it? I told her to. So, she, yeah, she better have felt like that. I, I told her that she had to, with Dev out, that she needed to be even more aggressive. You know, I, it wasn't fair to all of a sudden say, hey, Bailey, you got to start shooting it more. Or, Kieran, you got to look for your shot more often. I think it's easier to make Jalen and, and Mal a little bit more aggressive. We did try to throw it inside a little bit there. When, and I thought we established it at times, but then we got a little bit loose with it too. So, 
uh, I did make sure Mal, I wanted her to be uber aggressive. I thought she was. I was hoping to not play her 40 minutes and we got her to 39. So, sorry, that's the best I could do. What, what is the prognosis for Devin now uh, next time? I, I don't think we anticipate having her, but, it, you know, we've got uh, Natalie Trotter is one of the best athletic trainers there is. She'll get them. Uh, she'll give her the best chance. Dev is uh, a tough, tough kid, and she thinks she's ready to play. She thought she could play tonight, but it's just it's if you see it, you know better than that. So we'll look at it from day-to-day -day basis. We'll we'll plan for the worst and, and hope for the best, but we'll certainly start in workouts tomorrow um, trying to get some different action going uh, without her and then if we get her it'll be a pleasant surprise and we can just go back to what we've normally been doing but um, you know I, I've probably got to be a little less stubborn uh, and maybe we need to play a few fewer possessions you know I, I'm still up there yelling go 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 and um, you know I, I let Jalen take the point some but I didn't take Mal out but maybe I should uh, let us walk the ball up the floor a little bit something we'll look at um, it's just it's just not in our nature when you have a kid that's this fast with the ball to, to try to slow things down. Thank you. Thank y'all. Good job, man.